Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Pokemon Red version! Last time, we just goofed off a bit. Talked about some glitches, showed one of them off. That was fun. I also did a bit of shopping at the end of the video, mainly just stocked up on some recovery items for the dungeon ahead. And in this episode, we will be approaching the next major dungeon. Victory Road! We are on our way to the Pokemon League. And... Yeah, Victory Road is the final testing grounds, so to speak. Oh look! It's a rival fight! Yeah. So yeah, next rival rival battle. Basically, a stronger version of the team he had before. So is he's starting with his Pidgeot, level 47 now, but his move set is basically the same as it was last time. I'm just gonna use a fire blast on you. Uh, didn't do a whole lot. Try a stomp attack. Quick attack. Go for a stomp, see how that that didn't do a lot. Agility, you're already faster than me, so that was pointless. Can I get another fire blast? Yes! This might be enough. Nope. Just go for an ember, play it safe. This next Pokemon is his Rhyhorn. I am going to switch to a meal. Level 45. Basically the same as before. Main difference is just his team's higher level. That's really it. What's surprising though is, at least for this battle, you know. Level 45? Why isn't that Rhyhorn evolved? <laughs> hey, a meal leveled up. Level 38 now. Looking good. His next Pokemon is his Gyarados. I'm gonna bring in a Remy. And then his Gyarados is level 45. Roast you with the thunder! Quad weakness, that did. Res yes! Respectable damage and paralysis! Dragon Rage. A level 45 Gyarados that knows Dragon Rage. Noob. Okay. Super Noob! He's usually a regular potion at this point of the game. Seriously? Yeah, and he's going to send out an unevolved Growlithe next. Yeah, you're reading that right. Level 47 Growlithe. Same as what we fought before. But, you know, I do get that Delaying the evolution of a Pokemon such as Growlithe that relies on using a stone to evolve. Yeah, you get some of its better moves by waiting on its evolution. Because if he were to evolve it early, he would have to rely on TMs. So that that makes sense there, but seriously though, a level 47 Growlithe, that's a bit overkill. That's a bit much. So his next Pokemon's his own Alakazam. Psychic Duel! Level 50. I'm just going to spam some flashes and lower your accuracy. The reflex, his defense is raised. Cool story, bro. 
reflect. Once it's used, last five turns, so using it in consecutive turns is kind of dumb. That's three accuracy drops. Recover is pointless because you're at full health. Four accuracy drops. Haha. <laughs> five. And this is... Okay. But I think that may actually be the limit. So, a lot of his attacks are going to be missing now. So, I could just follow up to Oblivion. Wimp? I barely poked you with that attack. So, since his accuracy has been lowered substantially, I'm gonna switch. And let's use fly. Okay. I did a good bit of damage there. Side beam obviously misses. Critical, thank you, game. Quick attack. This should be enough. No, nope, not quite. Well, I'll take it, I guess. Ha ha! Quick attack for the win. Or not? Okay, he's got to reflect. He tried to reflect. All right, so that's done. And his last Pokémon's his starter Pokémon, Venusaur. I am going to switch to Spirit. And his Venusaur is level 53. So, he's been training his Pokémon quite a bit. That's... that did a little bit. Fire Blast, this should do substantial damage. Yeah. Using growth, okay, special growth. That's gonna buff his resistance to my fire blast. Why not? I'll go for my last fire blast on him. Uh, can I? I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out. Just to be safe, I'm gonna switch here. I still have the type advantage. Okay. Um, let's just go for confusion and finish this. Geller is level 38 now. Yes. So you want to learn Psychic? I am okay with this. Get rid of... Confusion, actually. The Psybeam is just a stronger version of Confusion. What? I was just careless. Cheapskate. <laughs> That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Andrew, you need more practice. But you lost! But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya! You're going the wrong way! <laughs> uh, the Pokemon Center's in that direction? And he's not listening to me. Oh well. So, with that taken care of... We are free, we are legitimately free to go toward Victory Road. So, actually the first thing to do is heal our team. Always want to do that. So, uh, callback to what 
could have been the second rival battle of the game. Had you gone this way with zero badges, you would fight them. And just, yeah, I, I explained this fight, I explained that scenario earlier in the series. This team would all be around level 10. But since I actually didn't go that way until after I got my first badge, I locked myself out of that fight. So now we have the entrance to Victory Road. Oh, that is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. Yes, these are the badge check gates. requires you to have surf. Thankfully, though, there's no wild Pokemon, but then you have these patches of grass. Black, the, one of the iterations of the badge checkpoints, it's either black and white one or black and white two. One of those segments has a patch of grass that does have encounterable Pokemon in it. Kind of random, but a... Eh? Remember if that grass has Pokemon you can encounter or not, but yeah, it's just what, just kind of a visual detail, a random bit of trivia. So I actually need to go this way. As I stated before, this cave's got a got a boulder pushing puzzle, just like in Seafoam Islands, and there's also a bit of a detour, similar to the one that was in Seafoam Islands. Now, the premise behind Victory Road is the ultimate testing ground for all trainers. So naturally, the wild Pokemon here are going to be really tough, and the trainers here are going to be really tough as well. The trainers here are pretty good, are really good for experience, actually. The wild Pokemon, basically anything that we've found in a cave up to this point, so I expect to see things like Gravelers and Golbats, things like that, Rhyhorn, can be found in this area. Big area. I want to have my repels on hand, and I'm gonna need to use my strength. So just like before, I will speed ahead, and I will meet you at the next point of interest. Actually, real quickly, the premise here, where in Seafoam Islands you had to push the boulders down holes. This one you gotta push boulders onto switches. Yeah, I'll see you in a while.
Alright, guys. This is the first major point of interest I wanted to show. We saw this place, this segment, already. Now we actually have found our way here. So, item ball right here, guard spec, nothing special. It prevents the Pokemon stats from being lowered in battle. So, it's useful at least. <laughs> Anyway, we have another bird. In Fire Red or Leaf Green, this bird would actually not be here. It would be on one island of the Sevi Islands. And in its place, right here, there would be an item ball on the ground. Can't think off the top of my head what, item, what the item is. But that's just... yeah. So this Pokémon here... yeah. Get where this is going. On the way here, I actually found a few other items. I found a few more TMs and another Max Revive. Max Revive, we have a few more of these in the PC. Let's see. Okay, I already had that one. The TM5 is Mega Kick. It's actually a normal type attack, if I believe. Submission. There's a fighting move. This move, submission is basically a fighting type version of takedown. Does some pretty decent damage at the cost of some substantial recoil. I do want to go ahead and learn that, and... I will go ahead and get rid of... Uh, I'll get rid of Skull Bash, because Skull Bash is a two-turn attack. Even with that recoil, it's still a better move in the long run. TM5. We've already checked. TM47 is Explosion. It's a far stronger version of Self Destruct. That's all there is to it. Okay, so that. That puts things looking pretty nice. Not like the other two instances of these old birdies. Save. And. If you're in Gen 1, as I am, make sure you got some form of stat, status affliction and Ultra Balls if you intend to catch this thing. Once again, I'm not going to worry about it. So, go! The battle begins with... Moltres, the Bird of Fire. Fire Flying type, level 50. So it finishes off the trio. That's all there is to it. Actually, Moltres is a good Pokemon. All three of the birds are really nice Pokemon to use. And so much so that Zapdos, especially, has made appearances in VGC events being used in on some of the teams that have actually performed pretty well. Well, prior to them reintroducing the GS Cup rules into the format. But with Zapdos, especially, Zapdos is one of those that you set up the Thunder Wave on your opponent, Tailwind to boost your speed, things like that. And with the other two, similar strategies, really. I mean, for Moltres, give it things like Flamethrower or Will-O-Wisp, or for Articuno, use it on a snow team or a hail-based team, and suddenly you send, at, you send out an Obama Snow, Snow Warning activates, send out an Articuno, and go from there. And of course, Fire Spin. 
fire spin is just like grab, constrict, clamp. It's one of those moves. It hit, it whittles you down between turns. And since Moitrace is faster than me, it gets to spam that every single turn. Well, you know, it actually did. Ha uh ha. -huh. But naturally, it doesn't count as it being defeated. It counts more so as us escaping the battle. <laughs> uh, so that's more trace. And of course, the trainer is blocking a quick way out of here. That's not actually the way. So that's. Yeah, that's. The real distraction of this area. And now we want to get out of here and just continue on to Victory Road, so. I'll meet you guys then.
Alright guys, we made it out of there. And now, it's just a bit of a walk from there on up through this maze of gym statues. Yeah, random. <laughs> Kind of weird, but hey, they want to make sure their competitors are ready for for the challenge ahead. At the end, we have arrived. So naturally, the first thing to do is to heal, and now we can fly back here at any time. You want to make sure you're absolutely ready before you come for, come here and then go on ahead. So, keep going to the left right there and that'll begin your challenge. So the champion making guy has decided to come to the Pokemon League and he tells us we have to fight the Elite Four in succession. If we lose, we have to start the entire thing over. So it's a boss rush mode. We have the Cable Club, so Link Trading, Link Battling, all the good stuff, the usual stuff. I'm gonna just kinda basically put some stuff away, put away what I can at least. This is where you want to withdraw all of your strongest recovery items that your PP restores, such as your ethers. PP up, I have one of those. I still have my eight rare candies, so I'm looking good there. This is a this is a shop. You can actually buy full restores and max potions here now. And th this is where you get the best stuff in the game. Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Full Restore, Max Potion, Full Heal, Revive, Max Repel. So for the time being, I want to go ahead and sell off this one guard spec. I'm not gonna need it. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be using it personally, but you know. And Yeah, that's really it. But I can tell you this, before I start my challenge, yeah, it's highly recommended that you prepare. You use any rare candies you've accumulated up to this point and then go from there and yeah. This is where you'll want to finalize your move sets as well. So that in mind, withdraw item, I'm gonna withdraw my eight rare candies. written all over it. So, for 
for the time being, I'm just I'm just pulling out items that will be useful between getting ready for the Elite Four challenge and actually going in. time on Pokemon Red version, we will be taking on the Elite Four of the Kanto Region Pokemon League. Until next time, take care guys.